What's up, YouTube? Um, I don't know where the wavy mode is, so... What's up, YouTube? This is going to be a quick little YouTube video going over my war gear for um, PvP. Um, it'll be right here. This will be IGVG set. Um, don't really know. I probably won't speak on the other classes because I don't know it as well. But... This is your basic setup for PvP and New World for Wars. Um, start off with the helmet. We got Shirking Fort, Unending Thaw, Slash Conditioning. Now, this is could be a little bit different. You could probably drop one or maybe two Slash Conditionings if you're off of point. But if you're a point player, I would suggest going five because you're always getting hit by fucking great axes on point. And you're always in clumps for the most part. But yeah, Shirking Fort, Unending Thaw. Flash conditioning because I'm IGVG. Unending thaw is a must. Gotta have it. Um, then we got freedom, shirking fort, slash conditioning. You're gonna see a little bit of a pattern here. Um, magnetic gloves. If you're an IGVG, these are a must have or you will not get slotted in any wars. Well, depends on the company. But if you're an IGVG and you don't have these, you're probably gonna get laughed off the roster. You need these. It's the crit chance increased by 50%. Why do you want that? Um, where's the VG? Well, I mean, this is one thing. On crit, you heal for your, all your damage. Um, and then this as well. 5% cooldown reduction on all abilities on a critical hit. So you go up, scream a clump, a bri oblivion a clump, orb a clump, boom. Your scream's already most likely almost back already. That's why you want to have those mag gloves. They're much to have their amazing complement to the VG. For the pants, you got Freedom, Shirking Fort, Slash Conditioning. And then for the final piece, you got the boots, which is Nullifying Oblivion, Shirking Fort, Refreshing. Um, you could, I mean, you don't really need Refreshing as much as you used to, but I still like to throw it on there. Then for the Ice Gauntlet, same thing, Artifact, Deep Freeze, kind of a must-have here. Um, you want to put Deadly Frost on it. Deadly Frost is super strong. Why? Because you're getting ice showers more. Ice showers are amazing. You don't know what the ice shower is, I'll show you really quick. It is this right here. Um, just amazing to have. So yeah. You definitely want this as an ice gauntlet, and you want deadly frost, because more walls means more people dying. And for defense, honestly, defensive wars, more walls on the doors. Harder for them to get in. Void gauntlet, um... Depending on the company you're in, I guess it could be different. Um, like on Octans, I am in Atrocity. They like to have Orb on the VG with Thwart Encounter. Um, the company I'm in here, Tech, Technical, um, they like to have what I was just showing you. Um, Coca, WK Mage, some people may know him. Um, they like to have Plague Crits, um, Putrefying Scream. I go Keen. You could probably using be using a la or the alacrity one. I don't know what it's called, alacritish punishment or something. You could take that out for Keen, but again, I love fucking crits because it's a void gauntlet. Crits are very important; it helps overall. Amulet, um, health divine, stam recovery. I have on my onk. You could elect for a conditioning if you wanted to, like a or a slash protection or something like that. But stamina recovery is super strong, so I would I need to have that. I'd love to have that. Um, ring. You have a little bit of variety here, but what I like to run is Hardy. Again, keen awareness, more crit. Um, and Infected. I'm using Infected now. Um, I use that on the Void Gauntlet because obviously with Scream, you're applying it a bunch. when you. So it's very important to have that um, to last longer, especially when you shoot at healers. Um, it's just a great, it's just a great perk overall. And then Amulet. Fortifying Toast, Refreshing, and Refreshing Toast. Refreshing Toast, must have. Refreshing, again, eh, maybe if you want it, maybe if you don't. I like to have it, I'm a VG, I want to be pumping abilities as much as possible. And then Fortifying Toast. Fortify on Heavy, still very strong, even after the nerf we had a while back. 
Um, so that's why I'm using Fortifying Toast. I want to be at max Fortify. I want to be essentially unkillable. So I go into a clump and I could scream it. I could put that Oblivion down. I could do what I need to do as an IGVG. It is very important that you could stay alive as an IGVG. That's why, again, that's why I love Slash Conditioning. Because you're going to be getting in there. You want to be able to get in and get out. You want to survive. And having that Fortifying Toast is going to allow me to get in there and get those screams in. Because if you're not screaming clumps, you're not Oblivion clumps, those clumps aren't dying. You got to be able to do that as an IGVG. You got to be able to get in, get out. So that is the gear for the IGVG. Oh, vines as well. I mean, I'm sure all the IGVGs know that. You should be using I vines uh, for the most part. Um, I guess you could throw in bile bomb if you really wanted to get weird, but majority of IGVGs are using vines. But that is all. If you guys like these videos, if you guys want to see more, oh, I, I can go over the potions, I guess. Infused Health Potion, obviously. Regeneration Serum, if you're in wars, I wouldn't waste these in OPRs because they're super expensive. I like Powerful Gemstone Dust. Um, there's a lot of Flamethrowers, so you could use a Fire Absorption Pot if you wanted. Um, but you don't use Hearty Meals. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't get Cleanse Pots. Um, but if you guys like this video and you guys want to get other build videos you want me to go over, um, I'll gladly do that. Drop that in the comments below. I'll get the information needed and I'll put it back to you guys. But that's all. I love you all. Have the best day ever.